Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my next video. Last time we were on here, um, on our Minecraft base guide video, I planted some melons and pumpkins, as you can see. Now we just need to wait for those to grow. On this episode, I'm going to be showing y'all a sugarcane farm idea and design, and also going to be expanding the base layout, since it's getting a bit small at this point. So I'm just getting all the stuff that we're going to need for it. So first we gotta, in order to get more sugar cane from a harvest, we're gonna have to kind of cut off some of the land really quickly. So I'm just kind of doing that right here really quick. And go a few more blocks out. Just try to get it out as pos much as possible. Okay, let's see here. Alrighty. Right here should be good. Now we just gotta open up this little part right here. I'm just placing down all our torches and stuff that we're gonna need for the outside wall. And of course put our carpet back as this is one of the walls with a carpet. Alrighty, we have that part down. Now I'm gonna be trying a new design with my sugarcane farm. So let's see here. I'm just looking for the sugar cane in the player's inventory. You're also going to need water for this, so keep that in mind. Okay, so basically, first things first, got to place down a good amount of water. But I'm just kind of checking out the measurements. Okay, right here's where I'll build the sugar cane farm. Here we go. Next, we got to surround this entire thing with glass, um, well, sand, actually. So now I'm just gonna put all the sand in, just like that. If you don't know, um, if you plant, plant sugar cane on sand, it makes it grow faster. This will kind of make up for having a slightly smaller farm. Sand's not that hard to obtain, so you should be able to get it pretty easy. As you can see, we have a little sand box now. And now we could add some trap doors. Do keep in mind that I am trying this for the first time for the trap doors. I've thought about this idea and design, but I haven't actually used it yet. As you can see, you just gotta place them down and flick them open. Here we go. Now all we gotta do is plant the sugar cane. Unfortunately, it won't let us plant it in the corners, but adding the corner sand just gives it extra detail. You could potentially make those st little staircases in the corners, but yeah. Here you go. Now we have a nice little sugar cane farm, and it'll grow up. Um, all the thing, all the sugar cane will grow, and it'll be perfect. Like last time, we gotta put down some trap doors, so that way we don't fall into the water and it just becomes annoying. I guess something you could add to this design is um, mixing in some of these spruce ones for some oak ones. I'm just going to kind of do that on a few of these. Gives it like more of a visual effect where you can look at it more. Here we go, we have a nice little sugar cane box. But I made that small expansion right now. Now, um, if you remember, this used to be like a tiny little hill, kind of like that one right there, which I cleared it all out because we're going to be expanding the base a lot in that direction today. As usual, I'm just getting all the things that I need for the base expansion, including a carpet. Remember to try to take as much land as you can, just so that way you have more land to build with. This type of base layout and stuff is good for like keeping mobs out. I will probably put the torches on off camera, but I'm referring to the lawn torches with the moss carpets, if you all remember. I think um, in the next episode, I'm probably going to try getting the animals, like doing a little animal farm. Like I said, just bring that out as far as we can. As we're trying to take as much of this land as we can. I'm sure we could do something with this little corner right here. Perhaps we could put a dog house there. Okay. 
and I'm not taking it, I'm not adding it into the corner like this, just, a, just so it's a little bit more natural. Here we go. We're just kind of getting this built. Here we go. We got it all connected now. Here's a little tip since you're probably just watching this video. If you get most of it done, like let's say up to there, you could start tearing down this wall and use this wall to rebuild that. So that way you're not wasting extra resources. Although when expanding to a new base, you're going to want to try to get torches on there before nighttime, like I did last time. Just so that way no mobs spawn, because you don't want any creepers blowing up on all of your new farms that you just built. As usual, we just got to break it. And here we go. Now the last step for right now is just to add walls to the outside, torches to the outside walls. So that way monsters aren't coming into the base. Here we go. They changed how the light mechanic works in this game, so you should be able to space out the torches a bit more versus back in the day. Like when it, in older updates, basically. Well, as you can see, we got the sugarcane farm built and a whole lot more land. Off camera, I might clear out even more land, but I might do that as I have a lot of land already. Well, that's gonna finish up this video. I hope you all enjoyed, so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Goodbye.